Hi you guys, welcome to Dave and the Man Cave. Well I'm heading east on the A66 because I'm heading to the Town Hill Inn for a night of solo camping. Shortly up the road here I'm going to be turning right and going to South Stainmore and over the mountains that way. I've added the um, audio to this video afterwards because up here it's so windy and it, it would have just been a bit too much. Now when I get there, um, I'm not expecting too good a weather, so I'm not going to be able to do much filming like I really did intend to. But we'll see how it goes, and um, that's all we can do guys. Well guys, I'm coming out to the uh, Town Hill Inn because I booked it on the internet um, prior to this because I was actually going to go wild camping but my um, partner wasn't too happy of where I was actually going to go to. But when you actually see where I am actually heading for, it is kind of a bit of wild camp anyway. The, um, the campsite itself is very uneven. But, you know, if you're into that kind of stuff, then it suits. Uh, the only problem I did have with it, you can't bring the motorbike actually on the campground site. You have to kind of leave it in the car park, which wasn't actually a good thing because I wanted to run something off my battery supply. But, um, yeah, it's not a big problem. But um, it is very blustery up there. And if you do intend to come up here camping, Make sure you've got good stakes to put the, pen, uh, the tent down. Make sure you've got good strong pegs and extra long ones if possible. Because I noticed with a few people up here, on each corner of the tent they had like rocks on top of their pegs that they wouldn't come out, which was a good idea. I couldn't see any rocks laying around myself to use, but if I could have done, I would have done. Um, yeah, the ground's very uneven, but as I say, if you're into a wild camping or anything like that, it's not a problem. So, 
And uh, although there was a lot of bad weather through the night and once I'd arrived, it's amazing. There was there was families there and I wasn't the only one on the campsite. I was actually surprised there was a good few there. And also up in the car park, there was a good few camper vans. The Tanio Inn is actually 528 metres above sea level. There's fantastic views up there. Well guys, the purpose of this video really is actually to show you whereabouts it is once you leave the A66. So um, I hope it's okay for you. I know it seems to be going on a bit, but you know it's nice to know where you're going at the same time. Now the crosswinds as we travel on this road are horrendous. Um, all of a sudden they just blast at you. But it's all part of the fun. It's all good riding.
if there's anyone out there who'd like to sponsor me, I'm actually looking for a three-man four-season tent so I continue doing more of these kind of videos for you. So you can actually get me details on www.daveandthemancave.co.uk. So if there's anyone who'd like to sponsor me, it's a, a three-man four-season tent I'm looking for. Uh, for anyone who's wondering why I just said about a sponsorship for a three-man tent, it's because um, living up in Cumbria and up in the Lake District area, it's nice to have all your gear, your motorcycle equipment under cover through the night. So the reason I'm looking for a three-man tent is just basically for the extra room for storage for me. Um, you know, just to help me out and keep things dry and keep me camera equipment dry. It, basically, it's just to try to improve everything on the way. Well guys, as you can see I've arrived and you can see the tent blowing just slightly. It's not too bad at the moment because I'm starting to cook me supper there uh, just in between the showers. Hopefully now I can get this down me before uh, it comes again.
Well guys and girls, we've come to the end of the video now. Thank you for taking the time out to watch. And don't forget, I'm looking for subscribers and people to like my channel. And don't forget, if there's a someone out there who'd like to sponsor me, well, I've left my details. Thank you very much.